one. So I decided to get on really quickly and do a um, TTC update. Um, I don't know. I, had, I think I had mentioned in my previous video that I didn't know if I was going to do them or not. And I finally decided that I was going to because that's kind of where my channel originated. That's where I started doing videos. That's where, sorry about that. That's where I um, have met a lot of people from. And that's where I, I got a lot of strength and courage to, you know, make it through infertility and make it through my first um, TTC journey. Um, so I decided to do um, a few updates here and there. Um, in case you haven't followed me in the past, I had infertility with our first daughter, with her pregnant, with that getting pregnant with her. Um, when it was all said and done, that pregnancy, um, by the time we got pregnant with her, it was about two years. Um, now the second time around they said try for four to six months, then come in. Um, we have, have actually been trying since last May, so it's been well over that. Um, but that just is because we were moving. If we weren't moving, I'm sure I may be pregnant already by now, but, um, you know, it took, things take time. So, um, I had my appointment, um, what day was it? I think a week ago? No, a week ago yesterday. So, like, on the 26th, I had my appointment, and I was hoping, this is what I was hoping for, I was hoping I would go in. They would, it was just a general exam, but yet I was talking to my doctor that I used for infertility the first time around, because the clinic that I go to is, like, it's really, really good. It's not only a um, gynecology office, but it's also an infertility office, and it's also an OBGYN office. And it's, they also have, um, um, what do you call it? Mm, I can't think of the word. Yeah, you know, like a, a therapist, you know, psychology office. There we go. Um, so I use my same doctor for everything for like my, you know, if I'm just going in for um, a gynecological exam, is that a word? I don't think so. Um, to be pregnant, to infertility. Um, but they just have, you know, I have the same doctor, but yet they have different, you know, um, like PAs and other physicians that help out in the different areas, if that makes sense. So, um, I went in, and this is what I was hoping for. I was hoping I would go in and have my general exam, and then they would be like, yep, you know, seems like it's the same case as last time. Here's some Clomid. It went a little like that. They gave me my general exam. It was fine. Then they, we had a talk, looked over my history. They said, yep, looks like the same thing as last time. Um, we want to do a trial cycle, trial cycle, evaluation cycle. So, much to my dismay, this month I'm not on Clomid, I'm doing a trial cycle. I was kind of upset about it, um, because that means I won't get to start trying with Clomid until next month. Um, and my husband's going to be gone for a good portion of, like, he's going to be gone from, like, a Wednesday to a Tuesday, um, of that month. So that's, like, a, a bunch of days that he's not going to be here, and it's right around the time that I typically ovulate. Um, but they said they, they do have to do the evaluation cycle because if they were to give me the medication, um, and I was, like, ovulating like a normal person ovulates, then it could basically jack that up. So, anyways, um, it's really distracting to me that I have glasses on. Is that distracting you? Anyways, um, so yeah. So they told me for this month I was to go home, keep taking OPKs. Once I got a positive OPK, which that is an ovulation predictor test kit, if um, you didn't know that, 
um, once I got a positive, to call them, and then they would schedule me an appointment to come in to have my progesterone checked. Once they check, check my progesterone, then I can start taking the Clomid um, when I start my next period. So, um, where I am with all of that, and then they were hoping that since they would that they would give me the medication soon enough so it would ovulate before my husband left. I'm really hoping um, that I do. Um, and here's another reason that I'm hoping that, or why I'm thinking maybe that will happen, because I use on my phone the app called Period Tracker or P Tracker. Period Tracker. And last month, Try to pull it up for you guys. Last month, I ovulated. Why does it not say? I basically, I ovulated on my 24th or 5th day. I can't remember. Can you see that? And um, where all of the little um, chickety chick marks are, it's um, where I had my period. So. Um, I ovulated on the 24th or 5th day of my cycle last month. Now this month, with a typical person, you know, that's when they would ovulate every month. I have really long cycles, by the way. Um, so I was waiting for the 24th or 5th day of my cycle, which would be next week, and I just, I just got a positive OPK. So, that means, yeah, I'm due to ovulate on Sunday, and I ovulated today which is Thursday so that means I ovulated early so that probably means I'll have my period early probably with me it's like who knows um so hopefully I will ovulate before my husband leaves I don't know I look really strange in this video and I can't figure out why but anyways um is it this is my scarf I don't know, so, but you can't see my body. I don't know. Anyways, um, so I've been diligently doing my OPK tests. If you're curious what they look like, I'll put in a um, picture of them here. So yeah, that's what they look like. Um, so we'll see. I am a little bit bummed out, I guess you would say, because I originally wanted to start going to my office in January. I couldn't get in until the end of February, and now it's like I'm not even going to start trying with Clomid until, you know, April, and if I'm lucky, April, you know, maybe May. And when I, um... When I knew I was going to be going back to, um, having to, you know, at, do infertility, my goal was to be pregnant by Olivia's fir third birthday, which is in May. You know, I wanted, to, I originally wanted to be oh, pretty far along, but unfortunately, you know, if I'm lucky, I might and that's if I get pregnant in April so yeah I'm a little bummed up trying to stay positive there's a couple girls on here well one girl from YouTube that I've been talking to um but yeah so oh um I called, I got my positive OPK today, I called, and for some reason I was thinking it may just be because I've been out of the TTC loop forever, but, um, um, because I thought I would have to go right over there, like today or tomorrow, but they actually said, um, it's for a week, so I have an appointment in a week, and I actually have to go because I just got a text, um, I just got a text from the little girl. It's mom I watch. That didn't make sense. The mom of the little girl I watch that says she's headed here now and she's in a hurry. So, yeah. I will talk to y'all to later. And if you have any questions, leave them below. Hopefully I will do more updates and more things on my channel. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.